right guys we're gonna try this I am recording with a GoPro tonight so we will see how this works out uh, I'm gonna try to shoot the whole video with just a GoPro so I've never really messed with a GoPro much I have never edited anything off a of GoPro so it might might work out fine um, it might also be tricky like it looks like it's dying right now so I don't know what's going on the screen just went black but anyway uh, we're gonna try to figure it out and see how it goes and I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know and you let me know you let me know how the video quality is how the audio is what do you guys think and we'll do a little comparison this to uh, the iPhone. So, um, yeah. Well, let's uh, pull up here to the yard and get this truck started. And get this uh, run started. There she is. Oh yeah, let's do a quick pre-trip and get this show on the road. All right, first things first, you gotta put some uh, bananas in the cab. Get that to stay open, turn off the locket again. we put them in the cab is uh, it's a little warmer because we only have really you know two temperature controls in the trailer and uh, we have to keep half of it chill for you know all the chilled stuff the eggs the butter the milk and then the other half is her, you know, third or whatever is freeze. So, yeah, we have to, uh, just grab my paperwork. I think that's it. I don't need anything else in here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, this is a great, great load. Basically like seven stops in Valdez tomorrow and then the rest of them are in Glen Allen, so. Oh, I'm gonna clean my lights real quick. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, half the trailer is chill, half the trailer is freeze. So the bananas can't really go in the chill section because that's just too cold. So we put them in the free, or we can put them in the truck because we can keep it warm. So. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, I need this extra rag. Come on. Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just doing the uh, headlights and stuff and they're going to get filthy. And where's all our spare rags? Ah, I'm probably looking at one right now. Y'all are probably in the camera going, hey, right there, right there. Oh, well, I'll grab some paper towels out of the truck. So. Looks like this thing's getting some new mirrors because it uh, needs them. So that's cool. I'm not sure what else is going on with that, but. Let's see, we got a red light up there, so that's good. Let's put our paperwork down here. That's the GoPro case. We'll probably 
probably end up doing this again when we get fuel or stop at Hilltop. So I'm not really going to worry too much about getting them perfect because uh, the roads are so nasty right now. I mean, the truck is just filthy. And uh, yeah, so we'll get them decent, but we're not going to waste too much time on them. Also, I'll go ahead and apologize now if I'm yelling at you or what. I have no idea how the audio pickup is on this. I don't know if it's good, bad. You know, if I need to yell, if I need to talk lower. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But that's that in the office. I got the bananas. Um, oh, just realized I left that in my pocket from the house. Got the bananas. Got my paperwork. Retrip the truck. Let's go get up. Uh, looked up the best trailer. So, switch that light off. Alright. Also, I have no idea how much you guys can really see. Um, I've got my seat all the way down, but because of where the visor is, you know, it's probably hard for y'all to see anything from up there. I'll have to, I, I did a preview from the GoPro app on my phone, and I don't think it's terrible, but I don't think it's great. So, you might just kind of be looking at the hood. So we'll see after I finish up this clip. I'll double check it, and we will uh, get a good look. Like I said, bear with me on this one because we're, I think, I know I can, you know, a GoPro is the way to go for like the most quality videos. Oh yeah, we got her that time. Um, I know a GoPro is the way to go for the most quality videos. I just don't have a lot of experience. And so I don't want to be that guy that's going to overpromise and then uh, turn out a, a terrible video because I have no idea what I'm doing. So, got our unit set. Let's see, I can't even see the colors. Oh, this one's blue. Should have known that. and grab a flashlight so we can uh, so we can check on our tail lights I wish there was like a double high gear for these can't tell y'all how many minutes I've spent cranking train or landing gear it's just like time of your life you'll never get back it feels kind of chilly out because it's like 27 degrees. Not because 27 is really that cold, um, but because it's been like 35, 40. I don't know what that's doing under there. Oh, they use that to block the trailer. We'll send that to the other side out of, out of the way of the tires. Yeah, it's been so warm that now 25 feels, feels cold. Lidle the truck up a little bit. Get some air going back there. Grab a flashlight. So, guys, I always do a tug test when I hook up. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna hit the hit the brakes on the trailer too. I always do a tug test. So I back under the trailer, I hear it latch, and then I pull forward a little bit. That's the best way. Yep, jaws are locked. 
to make sure your trailer is locked. Now you can always double check and look, which I always try to do, but it never hurts to, I mean, you always should do a tug test. Oh man, you know what I forgot? I forgot to go up there and hit my uh, hazards for the trailer. So let's go do that real quick. Check these tires. They all got air in them. They got lights. Like I said, truck is absolutely filthy. So. Let's hit this. And I'm also. Put that away. I'm going to grab. grab my keys off of here double check we'll look in the back and see how that looks oh yeah we got hazards and we got hazards unlock this door Well, if I got the right, should be the right key. What the heck? Uh, yeah, that should be the right key. Come on. There we go. Ah, she froze up. We'll grab something else. Put a little shock factor to it. Grab the key. There we go. Alright. Otherwise, you can go get a torch and heat the lock up and blah, blah, blah. But we ain't got time for all that. So, yeah, get this glove on. This is the trailer. You gotta open both doors because it seals so tight. Oh yeah. Okay, we're not bad at all. Yeah, this is gonna have to we'll have to offload this maybe because it's gonna be going back to um back up towards Copper Center. So I got that strapped up. We're looking good. Alright. Let's close this up. Also, I'm gonna lock this because I had one come off. I've never had one fall off before, hanging through there, but somehow it came off. So we're gonna lock that back up. All right, guys. Well, that is uh, a wrap. Unit just kicked on. So yeah. We're gonna get out of here. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, I think. Let's see what time is it, 8.45. Got lunch bag, got some snacks. These are really good. I don't know if you guys shop at Costco or not, but these are really good. These I just tried, they're also really good. There's like nothing in them. Uh, rice syrup, sea salt, honey, pumpkin seeds, cashews, almonds, cane sugar. And this jerky is uh, extremely good. It's like 12 bucks for this big old bag, so not bad considering jerky prices. Got some monsters, put one down here by the door in the cooler. Not really a cooler, but GoPro stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much the setup. I try to keep this stuff out of sight, out of mind, but got chargers. We'll go into some of the insides of the truck more when I have it cleaned up. She's really messy right now. Um, but kind of show you guys how it works. The rundown. What an in-reach is. We'll talk about that maybe tomorrow or something. And uh, yeah, but for now, 
let's uh, hit the... All right, guys. Well, we just got some coffee. And now we are going to clean our mirrors and our windows. time of year it's, it's kind of warm and so everything's getting all uh, everything's getting super sandy and just dirty and yeah grimy it's cooling back down so might not be too bad after this but uh, this is kind of difficult also I'm sure there's streaks but I'm not really trying to do a perfecto job. Just, uh, oh, yeah, I probably should hit that again. Uh, yeah, so the roads are all grimy from all the sand and everything, so it's just, it's just freaking filthy. But. I get it halfway decent. I don't know what's going on here tonight. There is uh, all kinds of trucks parked up here. So I really hope it's not because the highway's closed or something that I don't know about it. I guess I should check 511. Just to double check because uh, yeah I haven't seen uh, anything anything about the road being closed so I don't know but there is one two three four five trucks sitting in here tonight and normally there's none like maybe one one or two in the summer, but rarely, rarely ever do I see any of them sitting in here like this, uh, this time of year. So, I mean, they'll come in here and fuel up, you know, especially the guys headed down to lower 48. downside about this GoPro is uh, get some water bottles out of here batteries do not last I apologize for that um, yeah batteries do not last at all so that kind of sucks but oh well 
Alright. Okay, that's much better. We can actually see now. I've been doing these Valdez runs. You know, we always have these. Valdez is our bread and butter. Um, you know, we run uh, four to five trucks in the winter, four, you know, four to five nights a week in the winter, and then sometimes we'll run six nights a week and eight trucks, you know, in the in the summer to Valdez. So, yeah, I've been doing these. These are real consistent. I usually know you know like like this week I ran out Monday night Tuesday he was like hey you want to run Thursday night and I was like sure so we're a little slower right now normally I'd have lots of fill-in work to keep me busy but I'm just having a slow week so it's been nice uh, to catch up on some stuff at home and yeah our routes are basically like we like I said a lot of stuff is just you know as the phone rings that's what we do but Valdez is LTL so people will call the office they'll say hey I need such and such picked up and such and such brought to Valdez and we pick it up we load it on a truck during the day and then a driver will pick it up in the evening drive the six hours to Valdez and then deliver everything the next day so sometimes you have a really uh, easy run sometimes you'll have a not so easy run <clears throat> you know so like tomorrow I think I have like seven stops in Valdez not bad at all but sometimes you'll have like 13 or 14 stops 15 stops so but yeah so 
hopefully the plan is I've got to go to Arizona next weekend for a wedding and I'll be gone for a couple of working days then but when I get back I'll essentially turn around and go back to the lower 48 and pick up a new semi and some trailers we're buying down there so I am pretty stoked about that that'll make uh, for some a really good video series <coughs> should be a lot of fun And I'm not going to show you guys the truck or anything until it's finalized and we bought it, but it's looking pretty promising, so. <coughs> Sorry guys, I got something hung up in my throat. But yeah, so that should be coming around here in the next couple weeks. We'll, uh, yeah, drive, fly to Ohio, pick up a truck pick up some trailers in Missouri and drive all the way back to Alaska. So that's gonna be fun. And then once I get back, it's looking like everything's really gonna pick up after that. Um, and we'll probably get right back to running and gunning and you know, doing a little bit of everything. So that'll be fun. We'll uh, kind of show you what else trucking in Alaska has to offer besides you know these Valdez runs which are which is good I mean it's always different there's always something that comes up so it, it, it can stay interesting but I like I like being more of a floater I like kind of doing a little bit of everything I don't really like having a regimented schedule but well enough rambling we're about to pop out of the twisties here and uh, yeah, we'll just keep stepping north. Roads have been great, 28 degrees. We're about uh, an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes north of Anchorage right now. So uh, yeah, but yeah, we'll see what I think about this GoPro. I don't know. I'm. I like it, but it's also kind of a pain. So we'll see how long she lasts, or maybe I can film some stuff on the phone, some stuff on the GoPro. We'll see how it goes. But, all right. We'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Well, we made it to Valdez. Thank the Lord for a safe and relatively easy trip. Five and a half hours. Oh, come on, why isn't this thing updating? Oh, it'll update in a minute. Do that in a minute. Uh, I'll get some paperwork out for food cash. this in the back of the trailer that way they have the um, paperwork that they need to know what's theirs to unload so yeah it's like 18 degrees down here not too shabby not too shabby at all Probably pull forward just a smidge. Sorry about the noise. That probably was not comfortable to your ears. Oh, come on. Well, this 
thing's just gonna fight me. Alright, catch back to you guys in a second. Alright, well good morning y'all. We are ground that one a little bit. We were over here at the Coast Guard, but their equipment is down at the moment. So we're gonna swing back through in half an hour. Try to get their stuff offloaded, so ain't no big deal. We'll go drop a couple more things off. beautiful day it's a little chilly temperature says 31 degrees but it was 20 like 21 earlier yeah it's gonna go down just from sitting there in the sun but I got some sticky buns that the wife made warming up on the dash so yeah guys I tried to uh, how I try to save a little money is bring as much food as I can from the house and then uh, bring as much food as I can from the house drinks and all that stuff because trust me it will eat you alive if you're out here buying snacks and stuff on the road and I'm getting a call from the office so I will take this and get back to you Alright, well, we just dropped off at one of the last spots in Valdez, and I meant to bring you guys along for more of it, this is such a tight spot, I meant to bring you guys along for more of it, but kind of had a hectic morning. Of course that's always my excuse also I just feel weird like if I'm if I'm making a drop I guess I could film like walking up to the back of the trailer and all that but like I feel weird if I'm like handing somebody paperwork or talking to the forklift driver and doing so like with a camera in their face you know I just feel I don't know I just feel weird about doing that Um, so I try, I try to not stick cameras in people's faces if I can, if I can help it. But, needless to say, it's noon and we are rolling out. So we just gotta swing by CCI and then that's it in Valdez. So then we have, uh, we have four stops in Glen Allen. Well, one in Copper Center, but.
try to get an outside shot of the truck or something going up the pass. I'm not sure. I need to get a magnet style uh, mount for the GoPro and then I need to get a suction cup. Obviously that's the most versatile. And now I want to get one of the clamp ones that I can clamp onto like the, you know, mirror brackets or whatever. But, we'll see. I got zip ties too. I can always just zip tie it to something. That might be an option. I reckon we'll find out. But yeah, beautiful day. 31 degrees now. No complaints over here. None at all. takes to get uploaded I'm gonna put the footage on my computer and I've got to figure out what kind of I guess I could download iMovie and just use iMovie but I figure if I'm gonna use the computer I might as well get a little bit better editing software so I'll try I don't know maybe I'll try Final Cut Pro it's kind of expensive but I know it's what a lot of the really good youtubers use Maybe I don't need something that fancy, I don't know. I mean, I don't really, I'm not that techy anyway. I mean, I can learn. So I guess, I don't know, should I just start out with really good software and then learn on that? Or just start out with, you know, cheap, easy to use software and just kinda go from there. Haven't quite decided yet, haven't quite decided. But yeah, I'm excited to uh, take you guys along for the ride going down to the lower 48 and bringing that truck and those trailers up. That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be a good trip. It's going to be a long trip, but it should be fun. Definitely will be fun. So let's get out of the road. Let's see what these guys are doing over here. Not sure if you guys can see that, but got a grader coming down the road and I want to stay out of his way, but I think I'm kind of in his way at the same time. Never ends here in Valdez. There is always snow to move. I don't know if you guys can tell I me mean, how high these berms are. But they are every bit of six foot. I mean, it's a street sign. You know, every bit of six foot on this side. This side's about five, uh, four feet probably. But this side, see, they're pushing it all this way. So when they come through and do this road, they push it to one side and they blow it over the top. So that's that. here and uh, see if we can get somebody to come out and unload us they're usually pretty good about it I'll go ahead and get the stuff to the back of the trailer so that way they're not waiting on me 
because I don't like waiting on people <coughs> and I know they don't like waiting on me. Get their paperwork. Gloves. Smells like Play-Doh out here. That's a weird smell. Yeah, this new uh, pallet jack, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's nice for sure, very nice, honestly. But it can also irritate me sometimes too. Oh, whoops, I forgot I, I, forgot I tossed a strap. I'll keep these from tumping over because I didn't really care to be picking up a bunch of tires today. I already got to stack a couple of them. So, we'll roll those up before we park the trailer for the night because there's nothing I hate worse than uh, ratchet straps. Why these pallets, dude, I swear, they just fall apart. Um, there's nothing I hate worse than ratchet straps that aren't. rolled up and then you spend 10 minutes untangling them just to sorry about your ears just to use a darn strap so it's freaking ridiculous one tire So, 
we're gonna double check, make sure where we're at as far as the fence line goes. Oh yeah, we can pull forward a little bit. Probably pull forward and scoot over a foot. I'm gonna hop up in here. Oh, I hate all this freaking ice getting everywhere. Yeah, this whole floor is solid ice back here. It needs to be cleaned up. So, like I said earlier, I absolutely despise when people leave ratchet straps of any kind sitting around, not rolled up. So we're gonna leave the trailer in good shape. One reason is because every time you think you're gonna get away with, like let's say you're at work. You used to do this all the time hauling equipment. You're at work, you grab a couple straps off the truck of the trailer. You don't roll them up because you're in a hurry. And then you're like, yeah, nah, whatever. Screw the next guy. Next guy's problem. Well, fast forward a few hours, it's 9.30 at night, 10 o'clock at night. You're trying to hurry up and get home, get off the job site and get home. And guess who's got to sit there and untangle your crappy straps because you were too lazy to roll them up. That's right, you. So, yeah, I don't like getting, I don't like having to deal with it. I don't know, some people it doesn't bother them. Some people, they think it's a waste of time to roll up straps. They'd rather waste the time dealing with, you know, I guess, I don't know. I can't stand it though. Absolutely can't stand it, but two down, one more. And then uh, we'll readjust the trailer a little bit and we'll drop it. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't film too much coming the rest of the way in. As you guys could see, they were hauling that 20 foot wide haul truck bucket, rock truck bucket, dump bed, whatever you want to call it. That's going up to the there is a, uh, I believe it's a copper mine. Uh, it's a copper mine up in, uh, oh, that's awesome. so much ice. Ah, need to thaw this thing out. But anyway, copper mine, mo I think it's mostly copper. I'm not really sure, I think copper and silver up in uh, Toke. So, something else that's interesting is that they're, uh, yeah, they're hauling all the ore out of that mine. They've got trucks with side dumpers, double side dumpers, running from Toke to Fairbanks. I think it's about a six and a half hour run from Toke to Fairbanks, hauling all that ore. So, it's pretty crazy. But, anyway, yeah, you guys saw him go by us. So, pull forward a little bit. Adjust this.
lines first before I pull the pin on the fifth wheel. Because that way, just in case, <coughs> oh, just in case you forget to, uh, pull your air on the trailer or you forget to unhook those lines like you if you forget to unhook the fifth wheel it ain't no big deal you jump in you can't go anywhere but if you unhook the fifth wheel and forget to do your lines now you just ripped them off so for me I would rather always do my airlines first almost always landing gear airlines fifth wheel because you can't go anywhere I mean you could pull forward with the landing gear down and damage it but for the most part if your landing gears down you can't hurt it and if your airlines are disconnected you can't pull them apart so let's uh, back up here back down in the yard and uh, put all our trash away, clean the truck out, and go home. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. And yeah, I will catch you guys on the flip. Like a glove. Oh, we'll go ahead and just throw this whole bag away. Anchorage has a plastic bag ban. Um, so whenever I'm in Valdez, I get plastic bags to use for, uh, for trash, for trash. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Got a moose bumper coming for it like those uh actually it's one just like bert's the far right there so once we get that moose bumper thing will be looking right but like i said if uh, everything goes according to plan uh that red truck there is going to be another driver's and i will be getting that glider so i'll keep you guys posted more on that as uh as time goes on hopefully here in the next week or so we should have a much better kind of guarantee of what's happened with that so but yeah i'm gonna turn in this paperwork and uh get out of here so you guys let's see if we can get this thing off my head without oh hopefully y'all aren't too messed up you guys have a great weekend, and we will see you on the next one, as I just dropped all my paperwork. So, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.